today. Um, today we're going to start with lesson plan one, term two, grade one. Please note that this is just a revision lesson. Um, so we're going to revise concepts they did in term one, um, and it's going to be for five days, so five lessons. Um, you can pause any time and see how it links with the cap uh, curriculum. Then what I want you to do is I want you to pause then at the resources and the dictionary. So um, look at the resources, check what you need, um, and then get those ready before we start the lesson. Then with the dictionary part, dictionary part, um, I am always going to introduce you to some mathematical words or words that we need to do in this lesson. These words are to help you as a parent or a teacher to help your child doing better in mathematics. So we're going to start then today. So um, you can at a later stage pause here. Um, so we just, we always start a lesson with a daily routine. So we're going to ask questions such as, whose birthday is it today? What is the date? Or what day is it? What is the time? Describe the weather outside. I want you quickly to stand up and show me left, right, up and down. And then lastly, we can ask who's absent today? So if you're at home, um, maybe you you can talk about somebody that's not feeling well or that is absent. In a, in a school context, we will just count how many children are absent today. So I want you to pause and you can repeat the questions again. Or you can carry on with the next part. The next part is then counting. So counting we always do for about five minutes. So the number ranges between 0 and 20, and we're going to count in ones. I also want you to go to the SA Teacher eStore and go and look for their counting library. The counting library is an excellent tool to help your child to count a variety of objects. Maybe you don't have those objects always at home or in class, but at least they can do it then electronically. Then we're going to count forwards and backwards up to 20. Remember, if you just count, it's only a rhyme. What we need to do is we need to give them physical resources to understand number. I want you to pause and do the counting activity. Welcome back. So the mental mathematics we will ask 10 questions each day. Now, the red part is always the answer. So don't let the child or the children in the class see this. So the first activity that we're going to do is we're going to work between the number range 0 and 10. So it's revision of the previous term. We're going to give them three numbers. And we're going to ask them to put the numbers in the correct order from the smallest to the biggest. Please do this activity orally and let them listen to what you say. Um, it's not a writing activity. And when they gave you the answer and they made a mistake, you always ask them, but how did you get that? How did you get that answer? If they start to explain to you, you will understand their thinking. I want you to pause and do then all 10 questions. Welcome back. So we're going to start with the concept of development for today. So um, firstly, you need to do a counting rhyme with them. Um, you can go and Google. Um, there are so many 1 to 10 counting rhymes available. Then what we're going to do is we're going to place boxes numbered 1 to 10 outside.
Um, if you don't have enough boxes, you can use any empty containers, anything that you have at home. It does not have to be the same. So as the learners say the number in the counting rhyme, they go the, then and stand at that box. You can make this a real fun activity. And especially if you can do it outside. So lastly, what they're going to do is they're going to say the counting rhyme again. And each time, if they say the next number, they're going to pass a ball to you, to a sibling, or at school to a friend. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up. And then these are the concepts that we're going to revise. Now, here it tells you where and what is expected from the curriculum document. This is what they need to know. And this is how we're going to do it. So here we can give the learners objects as counters, unifox blocks and stones. And it must be... 0 to 10 or 1 to 10 objects, and they're going to count it. Here again, you can use the SA Teacher Counting Library. Then for patterns and functions, you go to give the learners a bead line um, to count it once. Um, what works very nice is at home is, for instance, um, where you use pasta, like macaroni, that you can then string. Um, and then they can count it. Um, you can also make little counting cards with numbers on it. And as they count one, you can put down a one counting card. Two, you can place that down. You don't need any fancy resources or materials. This can also be um, recycled materials, such as an old cereal box. Then we're going to look at space and shape. So we're going to give learners instructions and that this you can do the whole time. Put the pencil inside the box. Put the pencil on the right side of the box. Um, you can see the, the words that we use here, right, left, inside, behind. Um, then what you're going to do is there's a 3D um, activity where you're going to place balls and boxes in your, in your class or at home and ask learners to recognize them. At home, what you can do is you can have one ball, one box. If you don't have a ball, um, take old paper um, or take a pair of socks and roll it into a ball. So then it's a ball-like object. Uh, boxes can be any box um, in your home. So I want you to pause here and the most important part is to go th through these four activities. Then we're going to come to the levels. So I always add these levels. So the CAPS curriculum tells us what to do, but it doesn't always tell us how to do it or how it links to international models. So I'm using an international mathematics model to do all my mathematics. So um, and here what I use is the CRA method, so concrete representative abstract. Um, and it just gives you ideas. So for the concrete activities is the learners going to count out 10 objects so you're going to ask them questions like uh, show me two objects count them one two um, show me three objects and they're going to count them one two three and you carry you do then four objects and you carry on until they counted 10 objects You can then also ask, give learners um, cards with pictures on them um, and they can place them in the correct sequence. Then we already did this in the previous activity um, where they're going to recognize um, ball and box shapes. And then lastly is where they're going to follow instructions. Remember, they need to work with physical things like pencils, boxes, um, food in the kitchen, um, cups, glasses, pots, pans, all those type of things that you can use in your at home um, or in class. 
So on the representative level, we focus more on pictures. So um, we can give them the pictures and they can count then the, the objects or the characters on the pictures. Um, then here with a number line, what we can do is you can draw them a number line. I always recommend when we're drawing a number line for a child that the child sits with you um, and you can show them how you're drawing it. Um, you can also make separate cards or use the cards that you used in the previous activity and then you can place it on the number line. Be creative. Remember making these things it's not something that you're going to do separate or before the time. You make these things while you're sitting with your child. And then lastly, um, we're going to re repeat again where we followed some instructions. But what you can do here is you can make a drawing. Um, and you can say then um, make a drawing of a box or anything and then they take a physical pencil and you say place it on the left hand side place it on the right hand side um, then lastly what we're going to do is we're going to do the worksheet remember we have a variety of topics or concepts that we're doing in one lesson because it's only based on term one it's a revision activity so you're going to give them this worksheet. If you don't have a printer to print it out, just show this to them and let them do it orally. Um, so I'm going to keep it like this so you can pause and do question one. Then we're going to go to question number two and question number three. So what you can do is you can pause here and they can do it. So for the problem solving, um, they can revise then questions from term one. Um, we're also going to put um, examples on our SA Teacher eStore. Um, and then you're going to do the consolidation. Um, the consolidation is just a quick overview of can the child do it? Um, do they still need support or can't they do it? So you just quickly going to go through these, check if they got all green, you can carry on with the next lesson. If they got some orange or red faces, you need to revise, reverse certain um, activities or questions, or you need to contact us at SA Teacher. Mm -hmm.